So Zombie Monkey is a zombie enemy type, seen exclusively in Shangri-La. Look at that thing. That thing is like ferocious, it's mean. That is like a definition of a zombie monkey. When it comes to Cold War Ghost Monkeys, these monkeys look like cotton top tamarins. Those monkeys look very friendly, they sound like, definitely don't look like that thing right there. So our Cold War Monkey Easter egg continues. If you remember back in Black Ops 1, yeah, how long ago was that? Like 10 years ago? Like 9 years ago? So Black Ops 1 was actually my first Call of Duty, but there was a Call of Duty map that had zombie monkeys. So the Game of Revolution made this video about two weeks ago ex explaining about the giant monkey. I did a little bit more research because a lot of people down below commented saying that Shangri-La had zombie monkeys. Also, I found this video from JD saying the new unseen easter egg in Black Ops Zombies Shangri-La exploding monkey easter egg, which kind of correlates to the actual Cold War monkey easter egg, the ghost monkeys hologram monkeys, because because Shangri-La had monkeys that exploded if you inserted a code. So back in Black Ops 3, because they remastered this map, if you go to a select tile, it says waiting for a code, waiting for a code, waiting for a code, and you have to input a code, and the code was up, up, down, A, and it says given reward, and the monkeys explode. So how does these monkeys exploding on Shangri-La corresponds to the Cold War Ghost Monkeys? But before we continue with this video, if you're new around here, subscribe, hit that notification bell. This way you can receive my videos once uploaded. So Notification Squad Day is going towards Gotcha and Renegade, Shot Ear Y Corn, if I said that right, and also Crunchy Pringles. So if you don't know the very first three people, comment down below. You get that instant shout out in my upcoming video. So if I was you, I'll hit that notification bell. Get that easy shot on my channel. So if you remember the goal for Banana running the wall, with a soldier bleeding out that actually matches with the same soldier which I showed you in my last monkey video, there's actually like a concrete wall that says LA. I mean, but that's like the only thing I could see that's like physically on the map that references Shangri-La based upon the LA. I mean, LA could be anything else. It could be a Spanish, it could be just like singing. But LA, Shangri-La, it's very similar. But I'm not entirely sure if that's like 100% the reference. But if you do a little bit more research about zombie monkeys. So zombie monkey is a zombie enemy type seen exclusively in Shangri-La. Look at that thing. That thing is like ferocious. It's mean. That is like a definition of a zombie monkey. When it comes to Cold War Ghost Monkeys, these monkeys look like cotton top tamarins. Those monkeys look very friendly. They sound like, definitely don't look like that thing right there. That zombie is like so like, oh my god, I will never come near that thing unless it's like in a video game. But the behavior of these zombie monkeys, the monkeys stay perched on top of the sides of the stairs, leading up to the packet punch machine. If one is killed, another will replace it. They have very low health and can always be killed by a single hit from any weapon, even the high rounds. Okay, maybe this references for like a future DLC map. Supposedly there was a jungle map that we were supposed to get, maybe it's season 1 or season 2. When a power-up is dropped, they will howl wildly, and one will run towards it. If a player gets a power-up before a monkey gets it, the monkey will attack the player once, then run away. Those little devils. If the monkey reaches the power-up first, they will run to top of the temple, with the power-up on its back, cycling through the various power-ups while glowing red. If the monkey is killed before it can escape, the power-up shown when it was killed is dropped and can be picked up. Even if the power-up is dropped on top of the temple, if the monkey escapes, the power-up is lost. Okay. I mean, this is definitely some kind of like hidden easter egg that you can do when it comes to Shangri-La. So it also says when a monkey steals a power-up, the power-up will turn from green to red and it will cycle through all power-ups featured on the map. Power-ups include the monkey cycle, usually but not always include carpenter, double points, fire cell, insta-kill, max ambo, nuke, random perk bottle, and also death machine. That's only exclusive when it comes to Black Ops 3. Trophy. It's also achievement slash trophy. It says monkey see monkey don't. It says bronze trophy in Shangri La get something from the monkeys. So I'm not entirely sure what exactly we have to do when it comes to Cold War because back in the day you just had to insert a code like up down up down whatever it was and the monkeys will explode. 
Plus, these monkeys were little monsters and trying to steal your power-ups from you. When it comes to these ghost monkeys, they don't steal your power-ups. They just sit still or try to eat their seeds and behave like cotton-top tamarins. They're not just little monster monkeys, these zombie monkeys. So I was trying to figure out, is there something that we have to do to try to insert our code? I couldn't find like a certain spot that says like waiting for a code when it comes to Black Ops 1 and also Black Ops 3. But there's got to be something else. There's got to be something else. Why they're bringing back the monkeys from Black Ops 1, Shangri-La, and also Black Ops 3. Honestly, if you think about it, Black Ops 1 had the monkeys, Black Ops 2 didn't, Black Ops 3 did, Black Ops 4 didn't, and now Cold War has these monkeys. There's got to be something we have to do. Maybe we have to give the monkey something, all of a sudden they'll be nice, or they try to steal it. You never know. Honestly, no one has figured out this easter egg yet. Maybe this easter egg is not implemented at the fullest yet, because season 1 hasn't dropped it, which is going to drop in a couple days. But honestly, what is it going to be? Do we have to insert a code, like back in the day? Do we have to give them something that's something gold, such as gold for a banana? Or do we have to shoot them in like a certain time during the dark ether? We never know about this, but as days go on, there's more information being provided. There's more research that I'm doing and also other people are doing. And more people are getting involved with this. Because my comment section is constantly filled with people who are interested about these Cold War monkeys. Because these Cold War monkeys, no one has really figured out what exactly do we have to do for this Easter egg. But honestly, there is a reason. Because there's 20 ghost monkeys. There's five ghost monkeys per section, and there's four sections. Also, these monkeys represent Contop Tamarans. But also, Shangri-La had monkeys that exploded. Shangri-La had this code insert. Also, Shangri-La had these evil little monkeys that steal your power-ups. But when it comes to Cold War, these monkeys behave. So I'm not really sure what exactly that we have to do to unlock this Easter egg. Or this could be something toy random, or this could be something toy random that doesn't really evolve the Easter eggs. But there's too much information going on here because the monkeys disappear before the dark either ends. There's different animations that looks exactly like Cotton Tom Tamarin. I'm not entirely sure what will be the next step, but I will continue doing my research. You will also continue trying to find more information as well. And if you include something that's worth putting a video, I'll include your comment down below as well. So if you're new around here, subscribe, hit that notification bell. This way you can receive my videos once uploaded. You can always follow me at Twitter, the Brett Burns, and also Instagram, Brett.Burns. And if you want to purchase a t-shirt, that link be down below as well. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, guys. Thank you. Bye. Yeah, I can never ever find the right words. And there's no way this is real life. There's no telling you're the right girl So I can only say that it feels right It feels right, it feels right Yeah, I can only say that it feels right It feels right, it feels right Yeah, I can only say that it feels right